one bullet to the head. Yes, that was immediate, immediate death. And Sam DeBose had no more control over his movements, according to Dr. Karen Lohman from the Hamilton County Coroner's Office. Uh, as soon as that bullet cut off his brainstem, there was no more thought. There was no more purposeful movement of his arms and his legs. Lohman was the prosecution's final witness. She described in detail graphic autopsy photos, which we aren't going to show. Tenzing kept his head down when the photos were displayed and pinched the bridge of his nose several times during this testimony. The judge previously ruled DeBose's medical records could not be brought up at trial. But during cross-examination, the defense got Lohman to admit DeBose was sick. Dr. Lohman, uh, yes or no, is it your testimony that Mr. DeBose was a completely healthy individual on July 19, 2016? No. Testifying for the defense today, two UC police officers and three Cincinnati cops. All five arrived on scene after Tenzing shot DeBose. Um, I did notice that he was uh, holding his, his arm and kind of rubbing it. Each one said Tenzing appeared to have injured his left arm. He was shaking his left hand, like repeatedly up and down. And they each testified to Tenzing's demeanor after the shooting. He looked scared to death, and to me, he appeared white as a ghost. Kind of looked like he was stunned. Like he was stunned. Now, due to the gag order, the defense attorney couldn't talk to us to tell us who he plans on calling to the stand tomorrow. But we do know there is a video expert on the witness list, as well as a deposition, a recorded deposition from former UC President Santa Ono. And Tenzing himself is expected to take the stand sometime this week. Reporting live downtown tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.